Rifaximin is an antibiotic used to treat irritable bowel syndrome with diarrhea. Previous research has shown a link between IBSD and small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. Two microbes that are linked to SIBO are Escherichia coli and Desulfovibrio. The poor solubility of Rifaximin may limit its efficacy against these microbes when hidden in the mucous layer of the small intestine. This study aims to explore whether adding the mucolytic agent NAC to Rifaximin can better eradicate SIBO in an animal model of IBSD. First, in a rosazarin checkerboard assay, different concentrations of Rifaximin and NAC were tested to identify the optimal combination. The optimal combination was then tested in an animal study. The study design was as follows. The rats were separated into control groups and CDTB inoculated groups. The control groups were inoculated with vehicle and treated with either placebo or a faximin plus NAC. To induce an IBSD-like phenotype, the experimental groups were inoculated with CDTB toxin. The CDTB groups were then treated with either placebo, low-dose rifaximin, or a combination of low-dose rifaximin plus NAC. These are the key findings from the study. Treatment with Rifaximin plus NAC significantly reduced variability in stool consistency in CDTB inoculated rats. In CDTB inoculated rats, treatment with Rifaximin plus NAC reduced Escherichia coli and Desulfovibrio species levels in the small bowel, exhibiting levels comparable to those in control rats. Total bacteria loads in the duodenum decreased in CDTB inoculated rats treated with Rifaximin plus NAC compared to those treated with placebo or Rifaximin alone. Cytokine levels in the CDTB Rifaximin plus NAC group normalized to control levels following treatment. In this study, the optimal combination of low-dose rifaximin and the mucolytic NAC was superior to rifaximin alone in normalizing bowel function in CDTB inoculated rats with an IBS SIBO phenotype. In conclusion, combining rifaximin with NAC may improve the percentage of IBSD patients who respond to treatment.